What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, it is finally freaking Friday. Um, working on getting ready to do the combine for today live stream. Um, it may be starting it a little bit late um, today. I've got a few problems I need to take care of, uh, but we'll definitely be keeping an eye eye on it but I wanted to give my opinion on the Michael Urban situation here um, right now we have Marriott who let, let me use the old saying um, where you throw shit against the wall and see if something sticks Marriott has been throwing a lot of shit against the wall, and it's seemingly like very little has stuck. The only win thus far for Marriott that you could say would be is getting it moved out of a Texas court into federal court, which really isn't a win because the judge, uh, Judge Amos, um, is actually more on the side of the individual versus the corporations. And that not necessarily is a win for them. They basically now are crying victim. They are saying that they're getting a lot of um, unwanted interest in the person who um, has made the allegations of what we actually don't know. We also are hearing that, you know, Michael Irving, getting him getting the tape will create um, propaganda against Marriott and their situation and they are literally saying that this is hurting their business now here's the problem because marriott has basically gone on and said that you know there shouldn't be a rush here for summary judgment that this tape coming out would bring unwanted um unwanted attention to marriott and could allegedly prejudice the potential jury I honestly believe that this will never see a courtroom as far as an actual trial. At this point, Marriott would want this whole thing to go away. Marriott, who, and here's the problem I have. Marriott allegedly says that they've turned the video over to the NFL and the NFL, oh, excuse me, the NFL network and so forth, and that they made their summary judgment. We do not know if that is or is not true. And that Michael Irving has access to this tape. And allegedly, how could he have access to this tape if he is trying to get it to come out? That's a problem because this tape, allegedly, along with the witness, the victim, the alleged victim, is the reason why he lost his job. And he is no longer whole. He can't be seen on ESPN. He can't be seen on e uh, NFL Network. Right now is the busy time until the fall season with the combine and then the draft, of course, next month. And, of course, he wants to get back to doing what he was doing. In his mind, he did nothing wrong. He did not ask for a case to be brought against him. Marriott brought this case to the NFL, NFL Network, and says, here's your proof of him doing something, and for Marriott to say, he cannot be on any of our properties. Now, when I say throwing stuff on the wall, we have heard them go through and make the argument that each one of the Marriott properties are independently owned, that we have nothing to do with that singular one and the case should be thrown out the court said no because here's the problem with that argument is if that one was independently owned then shouldn't every other marriott have the right of whether or not they want michael irving on their property because marriott made it he is not welcome at any marriott property which is an nfl partner so when you have the official NFL hotels where their talent and their players and their executives and all stay at, he's not allowed on those properties. 
That's the first problem where you kind of look at it and say, no, that doesn't work. The second problem is, is there is, as far as I can see, two pieces of evidence that Marriott is claiming. One, the person who is making the allegations that something went on that we don't know what is. And two, an alleged video that collaborates that something happened. They do not want to give the name of the individual and they do not want to turn over a tape. If you do not have those two pieces, there is no other evidence of something going wrong because there's not one, not two, but three witnesses who saw the alleged incident and have said they did not see anything inappropriate, that there was no physical contact whatsoever. So if Marriott doesn't want to have the person who made allegations, and I believe I'm not an attorney, but I believe you have a right to face your accuser. At this point, I think it behooves Marriott to try and save face and get out of this situation because they literally have not won anything, have not had anything go their way. The court of public opinion or in the actual court system with not one but two separate courtrooms. The best case scenario, I believe, at the moment is for Marriott to settle out of court. Now, I could be wrong, but if the tape has no audio and there is no physical contact, then where is something that went wrong? Personally, I would like to see the tape because, and depending on what angle the security camera is, whether it's on Michael Irvin or on the alleged victim, is to check out the body language and expressions on the face to see if Michael Irvin is smiling, if he's ha, if he's looking crazy or the victim to see her reaction in real time. Does she look shocked? Does she look like they're just having a conversation? Does it look like, because if you are taken aback by something that is inappropriate you have some kind of reaction to the incident. Shock, disgust, anger. There's some kind of reaction. So even if there is no audio, you can look at the body language of both of these two individuals and see, does it look like there's something going on? Beyond that, then, if you don't have a tape, then it is her words against Michael Irvin's, and then, of course, the witnesses. Now, we don't know if there's any witnesses for Marriott and the employee that are there. We haven't heard of any, and that's not to say that there's not. But going by the information that is currently out there, what we have seen thus far, and the way Marriott is literally all over the place, with trying to find something that will support their argument to delay Michael Irvin seeing the tape. At this point, waiting until 5 o'clock Tuesday to show the tape, they may be better off releasing the tape today, late this evening, tonight, when things are not quite in the limelight. They always say, release bad news Release bad news late on a Friday evening because most people are thinking about the weekend and it kind of gets lost in the shuffle. And that's where Marriott would want to either do one of two things. Release the tape this weekend when it can be as less press as possible or, or find a way to settle the lawsuit. Other than that, 
it's really not looking like, for me, at least for my personal opinion, the court of public opinion, the longer this drags on, I think the worse it actually gets. So we'll see if we see anything this weekend or not. I'm Mark Holmes, and, well, we're going to keep monitoring this thing, and I can't wait till Tuesday or before. I would love to be able to see the tape of what exactly transpired. And I will see you soon.